I must emphasize on the outstart that the funkadelible Monk McNizzle is not a dietitian. So I'm not here this afternoon as a vegetarian, nor as a carnivore. Not as a vegan or a raw vegan. Not as a pescatarian nor an omnivore. Not as a fruitarian nor a pesco vegetarian. Not as an anorexic nor a believer. In fact, not even as a healthy human being. Push that shit out. Because if I was a healthy human being, the problems that confront our stomachs today wouldn't even exist. So I have to stand today as what I was when I was born. Hungry, my nigga. Now before there was any such thing as a vegetarian or a carnivore, we were hungry. Before there was any such thing as a vegan or a raw vegan, we were hungry. Before there was any such thing as a pescatarian or an omnivore, we were hungry. In fact, before there was any fast food industry, we were hungry, my nigga. And after these fast food chains have long passed from the scene, there will still be hungry people. Now every single year, the fast food industry people set up shop to pacify us. This is what they do. They send McDonald's down here to pacify us. They send Burger Kings down here to pacify us. They send Taco Bells down here to pacify us. You can't even get a Big Mac in San Francisco without McDonald's permission. You can't even get a Whopper Jr. in East Oakland without Burger King's permission. You can't even get a Nacho Bell Grande in Inglewood without Taco Bell's permission. Every time you unwrap a famous star, that's a Carl's Jr. rapper you're unwrapping. Oh, I say it once and I'll say it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok. We didn't land on motherfucking McDonald's, Burger King, or Taco Bell. Motherfucking McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell landed on 